G'day Smoking Dagger fans, today we're looking at the Solo Stove Bonfire 2.0. So let's unbox it, take a look at what's inside. Solo Stove is great for those camping, spending time in the outdoors, or maybe you just want a nice cozy bonfire in your backyard. But what exactly do you get in the box? Take a look, let's find out. And before I continue, it's a nice perforated cardboard. They've really not skimped out on the quality of the outer contents of the box. And I really appreciate that. Straight away, we've got some advice coming from the manufacturer. Number one, flip the ring. So this is making sure that you're putting the ring surface at the right way and you're gonna increase the flame vortex. Number two, start small. So don't just load all of your fuel in there and toss some lighters in and expect it all to come up good. Just create a small little fire in the start and then build to it over time. And number three, quality over quantity. So this is making sure that your fuel source is dry, quenched and just the right quality of timber. So depending on which region you are, here in Australia, we uh, typically use something like a jarrah wood or a iron bar. And it's gonna be a nice, hardy, low smoke, so you're not gonna leave a lot of rubble and trace elements when you're finished burning the fuel. And finally, just good moments, lasting memories. So one of the added benefits of the Solo Stove Bonfire is you get this massive diameter for storage. So if you're packing up the car, on the weekend, you're looking for places or little um, you know, cracks to store things, use your fire pit as also a protective outer vessel and pack your uh, sleeping bags and clothes in there and you know, save space. That's smart camping. Instruction leaflet. And a nice branded bag with some cool swag in there as well. So as you can see inside the box, it's mostly just the unit itself. Just a little polystyrene to keep it in place. So the first thing first, we've got the outer ring. And as per the instructions, we're gonna make sure that the ring is directed inwards towards the bonfire. So that way our vortex of fire is gonna come up here and we're gonna get a nice directional flame instead of not being able to get that same uh, air vortex if installed incorrectly. So the big difference with the Bonfire 2.0 versus the Bonfire 1.0 is the inclusion of a nice ashtray, which you can see here. So let's take the packaging off these. So quality stainless steel manufacturing throughout. And if you spend any time camping or in the outdoors, you're gonna know that fire management or getting rid of ashes at the end of your camp is always a problem. The way Solo Stove have approached this by including this handy ashtray system. So by Keeping the perforated top up, you're gonna to get the real fine ash contents uh, making its way through the holes and collecting in the bottom tray down below, giving you a nice, easy single piece to remove and then depositing the ash that way. Clever. Installing the ashtray is as easy as placing it in the center. Job done. So one of the main selling features of the Solo Stove Bonfire 2.0 is that it's a smokeless fire pit. And you may ask, how is it smokeless? Well, it does it in really two ways. The first is its uh, intake. So you can see here, it's a two wall stainless steel build. And down the bottom, you've got the inlets um, with a lot of these series of small holes. That's gonna be sucking the air in, creating a uh, positive air pressure. And when the air comes up, it's gonna fuel then your, uh, your inner fire pit, but it's actually coming in through the side here. So you've got really two ways that the air is coming in and supplying oxygen to your fire and the directional part, well, we're gonna cover that in just a second.
The Solo Stove Bonfire 2.0 really does package itself nicely as an outdoor fire pit unit. Uh, marketing itself as a smoke-free or smoke-reduced fire pit, which uh, for those that aren't a fan of getting direct smoke in the eyes or in the face uh, and during those late night camping sessions, this may be worth checking out. Um, stay tuned, we're gonna do a quick light up and um, first review of this unit in action. Yeah, apart from that, it's all pretty cruisy.